What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got Moose with us. And Moose just had a little growth removed off his leg, so he's in a donut. But he wants to be in the video, so here you go. Whoa! All right, hang out, dude. You good? <laughs> oh, man. No farting into the camera, bud. All right, so today I wanted to do a video and um, talk to you guys about Harley Davidson. So I wanted to do a video today and talk to you guys about my Olin suspension, my Olin's Nix 228 suspension. I had this installed a while ago and um, it just wasn't feeling right, you know? Um, and then I thought it was me being, coming from a Dyna and having dialed suspension on a Dyna, trying to compare the two bikes. So I thought something, um, I, I thought I was just being, too critical, you know, trying to get a touring bike to perform like my Dyna does. Um, but finally, you know, it was making like a, a clunking sound at the top of the rebound. And um, finally, I, I videotaped that. I'll show you guys this video right now. Um, so you can see in the video here that at the top of the rebound, it, it's all clunky. Um, it doesn't have the typical Olean's swoosh, whoosh, whatever you call it. Um, anyways, so I took that video, I sent it into Olin's and I, I asked, Hey, is, is this what you guys' suspension is supposed to feel like at the top out? You know, cause I'm getting a weird clunk every time I, you know, my suspension, um, fully extends and, uh, his name is Joey. I don't remember his last name at Olin's. He was really quick to respond, uh, messaged me right back and was like, do not ride that bike. Something's not right. Um, Initially, they wanted me to send to take the front forks off and send the suspension into them so they can see what was going on with it. But I took it down to the shop that I know and trust, um, Black Line Speed Shop down here in Bountiful, Utah. And as soon as I pulled up on it, I, I didn't take his advice. I did ride down, but it was like 20 minutes away. Um, so I stopped in the Black Line Speed Shop and told them what was going on. And um, Bryce was like, let's pull that suspension apart right now. And he did, as soon as I pulled up, man, he <laughs> brought the bike into the shop and pulled the suspension off, um, went through it. The oil looked good. Um, when he was pulling the parts, <laughs> what's up, buddy? When he was pulling the suspension uh, components apart on the inside, the cartridges, looking for the top out spring, it was there. Um, all pieces were where they should have been. So um, Bryce got on the line with Olin's, their technical support. And I guess uh, they've had a couple issues with um, like kind of like the plunger looking valve thing. Sorry, I don't know what all the parts are called, um, but maybe over like a little excess Loctite getting in the caps when they're assembled. So um, there was on mine. And so Bryce got that all scraped out. Um, but then we went to look further and um, Bryce, he had me there with him the whole time. Just He's like, I want you to see that we did it right for you, but I also want you to see kind of how the suspension works. So they got on the phone with uh, Olin's again and Olin's had Bryce take apart the valve um, inside the cartridge inside the shock. And so once he took apart the cartridge, they took a look at the Olin's and Bryce took a look at the valve stack to make sure that all the shims and, and everything that go together there were put together correctly. And that's where they found the issue. Somehow you know, one or two of the components in there got put on the wrong side of things. And, and so the oil wasn't able to flow correctly. And that was the issue I was having. So on the rebound side, um, the basically <laughs> it wasn't slowing itself down once it came up. Olin's and black line did a really top tier customer service to take care of me like that. Right. When I walked in, Bryce took the suspension apart. Olin's being in, in contact with Bryce at black line speed shop and making sure that everything was where it was supposed to be and everything got done correctly. What's up buddy? Um, so it was, it was top tier and, and they're going to take care of the shop. So, um, man, I, I can't say enough about just the customer service on both ends, only in suspension and uh, black line speed shop went and picked up the bike. I actually, to backtrack, I had, uh, um, I purchased, uh, alloy art frame stabilizer from, and I'll show you that here in this quick video. Um, but I purchased this alloy art frame stabilizer because I saw and heard a couple people talking about how, how, 
well it works in and kind of stabilizing that ass end tail wag and wiggle that we get on these big road glides so put one of those on there and um picked the bike up from black line speed shop rode it home in the rain and it felt so much better i still can't give an honest review of the suspension yet because i haven't been out there ripping on it i, I just only rode home from the shop but the way that it absorbs the road and the way it, it really sticks in the corners that I took on the way home, the few corners that I had, it was night and day from when I dropped it off. Before it was real, felt real pogo-like. It was really stiff and just, you know, I mean, it made it easier to wheelie, but, and my wheelies are about that big. <laughs> but um, it definitely feels now the way it's supposed to. Well, I learned a lot in this. I, at first, I was I was weary about taking the bike back in to have the suspension looked at. You know, I kept on trying to compare two different bikes. Um, and what I should have done, I, I've ridden a ton of miles. I ride a lot. Um, if it doesn't feel right, I should have just brought it in right away. Um, and that's what I hope that you guys will do too. You know, it's, it's not much between you and the pavement um, on these two-wheeled machines. So... If something doesn't feel right, get it checked out. You know, don't be like me and wait because you could be on a long trip or have a passenger on that bike, you know, and things might not go that well. Right? Right, Moose? Um, but anyways, thanks for watching the video. This was another just quick one. Um, we'll be out at Arizona Bike Week on Friday the 5th, and we'll be out there until the 7th. So, we're really hoping this weather holds up for us. It's looking like it's going to be a low of maybe 30 to 40 and a high of 40 to 50 in that range on our way down there. Probably the coldest spot for us is going to be Flagstaff, but we'll be going out there with um, six other Utah guys, and hopefully it's all our, all of us, it's going to be our first time at Arizona Bike Week, so I'm just hoping it's going to be a blast, and I, I think it will be. I think the company alone is going to set it apart from any other rally. I think we're just going to have an outstanding time out there. And so far from my research, the food looks like it's going to be good. Um, we're going to, we may go see Godsmack. Um, shout out to Vettix, by the way, because Vettix was able to hook us up with some tickets to that show. Um, so if we have time, we're going to go check that out and do some, do some riding out there. Um, Cave Creek and all, and all those areas. It's going to be my first time out there. So I, I think it's just going to be an absolute good time with these guys. If you've had issues with your suspension or if you yourself run only in suspension, tell me what you think. Tell me your experiences. We had to set Moose down. He's honking around. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching ATC Jeremy Rides, and we'll see you on the next one.